Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. It's Cam. It is Wednesday, March 24th, about 5 30 in the morning, hour till the open. And uh, let's talk some stocks. So, futures are up this morning. Uh, SMPs up almost half a percent, 4%, 0.4, 0.5%. Uh, right now, um, up on, I think the Treasury yields rates dropping a little bit. And then just here, uh, SPY saying the uh, getting some pump for Intel opening or going to build $20 billion worth of chip manufacturing in Arizona. And it looks like durable goods just came in uh, down a little bit more than estimated, just like housing prices, just about like everything. So um, let's jump into the big mover after hours, DLPN. So DLPN ran yesterday on news that they were going to be uh, creating an NFT, basically marketplace and creation Division team said a partnership was going to come. Uh, after hours, right about 2 o'clock, they announced a partnership with uh, Hall of Fame Resorts. And exploded after hours. And then so you see we set a new high this morning at 38, right at 4 a.m. Have been downtrending since 4 a.m. So if we go look at the long-term chart, uh, if you go all the way up to the 20 years, it goes up to 7,500. But you see 102 down to 152 is the red Fibonacci levels. Um, so you'll see we, we poked into that uh, after hours you know we got through the 78.6 fib at 33 we got all the 38 and then these yellow lines are from go down to the three year chart uh, this 28.5 down to 163 so we poked above that and we're looking to use that uh, 28 level as a hold right now in pre-market after that pullback and then the blue lines are just from the move yesterday so uh, the pop on pre-market to the high right after hours and then we're stair-stepping up. So um, it kind of made a similar move to TCAT when it ran after hours uh, on on Monday, right? So pulled back after hours, sets, sets a new high right about the close, pulls back, um, holds that 78 fib on it and then moves up. So right, so stupid me, I didn't have these blue, the blue Fib set up at this uh, level um, at the time when I was making the video aftermarket yesterday. I had it down here at the normal spot. Um, that's kind of why you should update your fibs pretty regularly during the day, especially you know you want them to work in real time. Um, and I mentioned that in a fib video I made on Sunday that didn't get many views. I think it's the Google algorithm, right? It's only you have to make sure you're the new one. The SEO is what people are looking at. People aren't looking at so. Um, but anyways, we, we held that 78 level, pushed all the way up, you know, pulled back, hold the 127, pushed to 161, can't get through it, pull back into the moving average 22, and then close up even higher, right? So we, we get above, back to this yellow fib, basically close right about on it, pop pre-market, riding the, the, the moving averages up, get spike, buyers come in right at 4 o'clock, and then sellers knock it back down, and you can see here we're looking to hold this zero. Uh, fib level from three years ago at 28.85, almost pinged right off it, right at 29. Um, but we're downturning right now underneath the EMAs, so we'll look to see if we can get some uh, buyers come in, say the six o'clock hour, right, three minutes before the open, we can push this thing up higher. Um, and then one thing to note too, just the amount of volume that traded yesterday is, you know, more than the entire chart, so uh, kind of changes a lot of things. Um, especially if you go back long term, right? So if we go to the 10 year here, still there's not, not showing much volume even back in here, just hundreds of shares trades because, because of the split. Um, so we're kind of in new territory here again. So we'll have to see uh, what happens on the open. Could, could pull back. I mean, I mean, highly likely it, you do get some profit taking. You know, it's basically gone from six bucks to 38 in a day. So that's six times your money. Why wouldn't you take profit off that? So, um, now we'll go look at its partner in the, the deal, Hall of Fame Resorts, HOVF. Um, so you'll see right where it popped on news here in a five minute. So from 4 all the way to 877, first thing this morning, it gets to pop at 4 a.m. Also selling off, holding right underneath those EMAs right now. But uh, if we go look at the daily, so the chart, the Hall of Fame's chart's not as old as Dolphin. But uh, got a high back here. In July at 12:31, back in 20, yeah, 2020, and then we get this low here in November. 
uh, after its earnings down to 109 and then you can see the last couple days we've been we've been building up right so last two weeks from March 5th you know get this kicker symbol you know a hammer move us up higher pull back to the moving average and then huge volume increase right so you know back in here trading just about a million shares a day and then 200 million 250 million 107 million yesterday right a lot of selling yesterday but uh, that doesn't include the after hours trading um, so the red is from that 12 to the low the blue is just from the move yesterday so you'll see here I did it from the 385 low about 1230 to the 877 high this morning and you'll see right now we're, we're trying to hold the 61.8 fib if that doesn't hold you know we got some support here at the 50% at the 6.7 so uh, look, to, look to see uh, this area hold into the 6 o'clock hour see if buyers can come in and push us back up and follow the momentum of Dolphin so these NFTs are still getting hot I mean I, w I would, wouldn't be surprised if more companies jump in on the train uh, trying to get some hype trying to get their stock price up and into the marketplace right so they'll, they'll be the early adapters for sure in this uh, movement but uh, let's see if I can find HOV's uh, float so it's got a 37 million float so I'm quite a bit bigger than DLPN but still small you know it's still a pretty small relative company DLPN was what's it at 5.3 million shares so still very, very small uh, just like TCAT so they, it'll move pretty rapidly TCAT's actually down on the day uh, let's bring that up real quick all right, so it's been selling off after its massive move up to seventy-four dollars, pulling back down into the forty-two. See if you can hold the sixty-one eight fib or this hundred percent move. Come on, you're kidding me. Hundred percent move, you know, from the the move last week. So um, those are the NFT stocks, you know, they could move. The other ones could run in sympathy to them, but we'll have to wait and see. And then last, we'll just look at AMC and GameStop. So AMC has bounced back this morning. <laughs> Uh, so it sold off the way down to 976 first thing in the morning, and then we just on an upward tear right now. So looking like $11 is going to act as resistance again. That's been the area of I talked about in previous videos. You know, a lot of volume there. Yesterday held it for a long stretch, and then once we broke through, it sold off pretty hard. So now, in the old adage, right? So if something acts as support on the way back. It's going to act as resistance. So we'll probably bounce around in here for a little bit and then see if we can get through it on the open uh, I'd like to see if this nine holes if not pull back into these moving averages here as they are still rising and then GameStop kind of sideways this morning so we hit 150 first thing on the open you know bouncing between 165 and 152 so it's still downtrending but it's slower kind of have a triangle pattern forming here at the bottom so look to see if we can break out of that wedge one way or the other going into the open so that's all I got for you guys this morning. Let me know what you're looking at this morning. What do you think is going to be a good place for the rest of the week? It's been a pretty exciting week. Definitely Tuesday, a lot of action. Monday kind of slow, but Tuesday definitely made up for it on, on you know, just plays about any time of day. Pre-market, uh, off the open, midday, afternoon, and definitely after hours. So, look to see what Wednesday has in store for us. If you guys got something for me, leave it in the comments. I'll get back to you. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.